Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Stella in Singapore. Okay, today I'm going to talk about something related to the biomedical science because most people ask me about what is biomedical science, uh, what do I learn in this biomedical science. So I hope that this video will give you the overview of the biomedical science. Let's get started by why I chose this biomedical science. Uh, at this point, I would like to mention that I was a medical student in Myanmar. That's the reason why I chose the biomedical science, I guess, uh, because I'm very keen on medical free. And I believe that it's very exciting to work in the healthcare center. So biomedical science is very, very much closely related to the medicine. So I chose the biomedical science. And at this point, I would like to mention again, biomedical science is not the medicine. And biomedical science is very, very much challenging and one of the demanding courses in Singapore. And most of the Singaporeans went this course. So when it comes to for the international students to get accepted it is much more challenging compared to other courses i believe that in previous videos about the polytechnic i did mention that the o level, o -level requirements to get in biomedical science is very much higher than the other courses and by seeing that uh, you can see the how it is very challenging but i don't say that you as an international student, uh, you wouldn't get in a biomedical science. Just give it a try, just apply it. Um, they will give or not is the decision behind the school. So just give yourself a try and do it. The second find that I would like to say is, what we learn in this biomedical science course, but actually you can find that in the Google. The, the Republic Polytechnic shared about the course brochure in their website. Um, so let me share how you gonna find this brochure. Let's go. For this right, you have to go to the Republic Polytechnic courses. Just search in Google or Safari and you will see the first one courses just press it and you will go in this link and then you go for the full-time diplomas and you will see there are lots of school and you can choose which school are you going so for me right i'm biomedical science student so i will go into the school of applied science to let you see so under the this SAS. I will go into the paramedical science and then you will see about cost structure and the requirements prospects. So go to the cost structure and you will see the general modules, discipline modules, specialization modules, elective module, industry orientation program and freely chosen module. Uh, you can just feel free to go in and check what you are going to learn or if you can uh, you can also scroll down to go to the download course brochure just download it and you will see the brochure related to the school of applied science uh, you will see about our seniors which school are they going what career are they doing uh, you can search for the senior as well in this brochure And then you will see lots of other science courses in this brochure as well. Let me go. Let me go to the biomedical science course, and you can see the intention places in this brochure. It includes Easter. You can see that and other hospitals as well. Career opportunities and here are the modules. general modules, discipline modules uh, that you can check and then the minimum requirements and the further studies also include in this brochure. So for other school, uh, it can be engineering or infocom, you can just uh, do it 
in the same way and you will see the overview of it. Uh, in the brochure, as you can see that there are general module and the discipline module. So for the discipline module, it is mainly learned by the science student. I would say biomedical medical science. I, I'm not sure that other science students will learn the same subjects or not. Uh, you can check in the brochure and I will provide the link in my description box. And you can check other courses that you are interested in and the subject that you will learn. Okay, so for the general module, most of them are pass or fail module. Uh, it means that uh, there is no final exam for them. But for some of the general module, we do have the final exams and it is graded. It's graded. And for the discipline module, all of them have the midterm exam and the final exam. Sometimes they don't have the midterm exam, but it definitely have the final exam. And Abi has the everyday grading system. And based on the everyday grading and the final exam, they will decide you whether you will get the A, B, C or distinction and decide your GPA. So for the grading system, I will talk in the next video. and. I would mention that it's quite stressful. Anyway, we can handle that, right? Okay, so <clears throat> uh, in that brochure, you will see that there are two pathway for the biomedical science student, research track and the medical technology track. So for the research track, most of us after polytechnic graduate, uh, will do as a research assistant and uh, medical technology. They will go to the hospital, like uh, testing the blood for the patient and getting the report, something like that. But I'm not quite sure yet because I haven't experienced that. Maybe after I have experienced them, I can share more about it. For me, right, I haven't chose which track I'm going. Um, it's very very hard to decide but we have to decide it by the end of semester two that is the end of the year one but i seek advice from the senior as well as the mentor and i would say the year above us that is 2021 intake most seniors took the medical technology track and for the mentor part he said that um, even if you go the research track after graduation, you can go for the medical technology job. And for the medical technology student, they can also join the research job. But uh, when it comes to the knowledge, it will be a bit different. And um, it will be very challenging for the research student to go to the medical technology job. I mean, at the start of the job, you have to learn a lot because uh, you didn't learn uh, the fundamental knowledge related to it, but you can stand a chance to work in other track as well. And so we have the internship uh, during our year three, six months internship. And um, for that, uh, if you are going to do the research job, I believe that you can go to the Easter and for the medical technology job you can go to the hospitals and of course you have to pass your interview and you will get a chance to work as an intern day and then you will secure a full-time job if you are performing very very much well. Uh, I also want to mention what I have learned in semester one and what I learned in semester two. I decided to include this part of the video because some of the students are afraid that they wouldn't be able to catch up when they come to Singapore for further studies. So I hope that this part of the video will give you some of the general view that what you will learn in biomedical science. So for the semester one, I learned about math, biology, chemistry, communication in global workplace, lab safety and life skills. Uh, in this uh, semester when I would say biology is a bit challenging for me uh, so I would mention for each subject for the math is just a for me right it's just a basic math is not very very much complicated so don't worry about it <laughs> and maybe if you're weak in the math it would be a bit difficult for you but you can try right okay uh, and the for the 
microbiology. Um, it includes some of the basic biochemistry that I learned in medical school. Uh, so uh, this subject is the most challenging subject for me in semester one. For the chemistry, mm, I would say it's hard, but at the same time I can handle it. So it's not that complicated as the biology for me, but most students find chemistry hard as well. Uh, and lab safety is just about lab and is a bit boring, but it is very useful for biomedical science students because after the school, uh, most of us will get a job in lab. It is good to know about the lab safety. And the fifth one is the about com communication in global workplace because Mm, this one is also challenging for me not because the module is very very hard it's very quite easy but for me i'm very introvert and when it comes to presentation i'm very very nervous and i don't know uh it's a bit challenging for me and but for some of the students they like it because it's just about the general idea and just about um how to present they mainly great on your presentation skill so i would say if you are good at communication you will like this one and for the life skill it's just a pass or fail module so it's not very much challenging for people and for the semester two that now i'm learning is uh include the discipline module like microbiology, biochemistry, molecular cell biology. These three modules are really, really interesting because that is something new that I am learning and I'm really excited and I hope that I can draw it in this semester as well. And for the general module, it includes the life skate tool that is about doing exercises and I can stay free pain in my leg because I did exercise yesterday. And we also have the innovation, critical thinking, and ECG, like career guidance. Uh, these are the modules that I'm learning in semester two. And I will say that don't be so worried about whether you can catch up or not. Just you do your best and you do your best and I believe that you can handle work and go on. Ciao. After graduation, most of the polytechnic students will go to the universities, right? And I believe that whoever watching this video going to polytechnic, they will either aim to go to work, but most of them will go to the university. So as a biomedical science graduate, which university courses can he or she attend? For this right, in the previous previous polytechnic video i did mention that um nus for and the ndu they are prerequisite for the polytechnic so as a biomedical science student they can go to the medicine dentistry or the life science and biomedical science serve as a prerequisite to get into the medicine and that's the reason why most people want to take the biomedical science because he or she may stand a chance to get into the medical school and there are also some of the seniors get into the medicine by getting the biomedical science diploma and last year this year intake 2022 intake about 18 polytechnic students are getting submitted into the medicine that is very very much high numbers and Keep in mind that for the biomedical science, I mean, polytechnic students, <clears throat> it's very hard to get into the medical school. Not only, they not only look for the academic results, but also for the other like leadership skills, uh, your portfolio, very, uh, your volunteering experience, something like that they look for that so it is very much challenging for you to get in and you have to pass the interview to get a place in medicine school uh, that's the one that what you can join after polytechnic i hope this video will give you the same basic view about the biomedical science and if you guys have any other questions 
just comment and or just message me in my Facebook page or the Instagram and I'm we're trying to reply you guys once I have time and if you have any other things that you want to know um, just message me I will think of it whether should I just reply you personally or create a video for you guys to learn more and more people know about it and remember to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye and see you guys in next video